and welcome back to Fusion Studios. And today we are learning about rest of the modifiers. But before I start, this is the Fusion composition which we made in the previous video. If you haven't watched it, it was about anim curves and it is really really useful. And also there is this free template of this right on effect text. You can get it from the description in the link provided in the previous video. Okay, not this one because we made this in the previous one. Now I have my project open and what I will do is I'll go to effects, take new fusion comp and put it right over here. I'll put my playhead on top of it and then go to fusion. I'll remove my clips and also spline for now. I have my video out and put this view. Now my workspace might be a little bit different from you. Okay, so to change that go to workspace and layout presets, fusion presets, choose mid flow and that's it. Now, with that said, let's start with the explanation. Bye -bye. The next modifier which we're going to talk about is busy spline. Now, I don't think that this is something you need to know about because whenever you keyframe any value or parameter of a node, it automatically gets added to a splineator. Yes. So, to show it to you, let me take an ellipse. Again, the same thing. And a transform from this default toolbar. To enable toolbar, come to fusion, check the show toolbar, and then right click, click a default, and that is it. Now, take the ellipse output, put into the yellow input of this transform. Let's see. Yeah, there is our Lips because my show view window is checked, which is by default. I can make it something like this now in the transform to see busy spline. We will obviously need to check this spline tab. And now, since we have spline, I'll click on this transform. And right now, nothing is over here because we haven't added any keyframe. To add a keyframe, now I'll right click on size and boom, you have your busy spline. Now, of course, busy spline is also not available on many values like center x and y. If I right click, there is no busy spline over here on actually center x and y because it's a I think vector or something like that. No, it's not a vector but many modifiers are not available to this but on size or angle you know some things like this which has slider or which have a simple linear value from 0 to 1 something like that whereas here it is x and y actually maybe that's because that center is composed of two values which is x and y i don't know we'll see into it if i right click on size you can see there is basis plane now i'll come to zero frame and right click on size and choose basis plane and there is this keyframe which is added now we can't see anything else fine because my show only selected tool is check if i click on transform it is showing me a keyframe which has been added over here onto zero frame. Now, if I come to the last keyframe, I can change the size. I can maybe, you know, increase it. Let me do one thing. Let me just keep it as it is. But in the middle, something like this on 150th, I will increase the size. Now, what I'll do is I'll do control A to select all and then click onto this little button over here or icon which says zoom to fit it will fit it like this now i'll hit ctrl a and hit f and that's it that's busy spline guys yep it doesn't show up in modifiers panel but this is busy spline what is a busy spline busy spline is basically a curve and it is shown in spline so not just this if i even change the center x and y values like if i had a keyframe over here go to the last one put a keyframe over here and uncheck the size just look at this center path this is also busy spline this is a spline of the center path okay but it's still a spline so i hope that it's a little bit easier for you to understand now what is busier spline now i'll remove the center path x and my values and now if i'll play you see it goes up and it comes down something like this now i can even hit t and increase the ease in and out values to maybe something like 80 so ease in should be 80 and ease out should also be 80 something like that now if i'll play it should be something interesting i mean yeah it is but i should not increase the size too much i should make it something like three i guess now that will be very very interesting i'll play from the beginning zoop and it goes away like that smooth and very simple right so business line again is just this spline which you see on the spline tab that's it nothing else now we are done with it yeah it was this much only the next modifier we should not talk about is b spline and those who have watched mass node explaining they might know what b spline is so if you haven't watched it go check it out right now it is same as busier but it averages the points so it is smoother by default now to show it to you if i come back to zero frame if i do control a select all and delete and right click and remove transform one size because we will be adding another modifier if i right click and choose modify with and here we have b spline if i click on that now it has again added this now you see it has added this keyframe over right here onto zero and you'll be like yeah it's the same but let me explain let us just add another keyframe over here and now when we come back to 150th and watch very carefully i'll do ctrl a and hit zoom fit to view and now if i increase this uh, size value it was three right i'll do zoom fit to view ctrl a now you see what it has done it's exactly like this b spline node polygon uses a busiest spline okay to show you 
get something like this. I can do shift A, do shift S, you know, something like that. Whereas B spline mask uses this B spline uh, points. I don't know, B spline is a points or it's a way or I have explained it in mask notes. Please go and watch it right there if you want to know more about B spline. But basically, the interpolation mode of between two points is different in polygon and in spline. Whereas in polygon, you have this point and you have curve handles to adjust the interpolation between this anchor point and this anchor point. Whereas in B spline, it's not like this. This point and this point handles it with this single point over here. So due to which when it comes from here to here, there's a lot of tension which has been reduced. Okay, now you can do various things to increase the tension over here. You can hold W and drag the mouse and you know, you can increase the tension over here. But why I'm explaining all this right now, I have even explained this all of it in mass notes. So go and watch that right now. But yeah, so that is that something we can do over here? Let me see if I hold W. Oh, yes. That is something which you can do over here too. If you hold W and drag the mouse wheel, you can choose how much tension you want in your busy spline curve. And if you want at all or not, that's totally up to you. And guess what? Yeah, that's it for B spline and busy spline. You don't need much to change anything else. And basically that's how basic spline and B spline works in mass nodes. I explained it to you guys. If you want to know more about B spline or basic spline, you can check out the mass note videos, okay, which I have made before modifiers explained. I did mass notes explained. You will like it. I think so. If you like this one. And yeah, that's it. And with that said, if you want to join our Discord server, the link is in the description below. Okay, there are many project files which is available to you to explore, which I made obviously. Okay, that's on Gumroad Store. So go and check those out too. And if you have any type of query or problem, you're facing any issues with editing motion graphics or fusion, you know what to do. There's a link below. You can book a call with me right now. Okay, many people are doing it and they are really enjoying it too. So with that said, if you like this video and you know what to do, like this video, subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. And most of you just watch it, don't subscribe. So please, it's, it's not that good. Subscribe. And yeah, that's it. See you in the next one. Peace out.